set me apart above my assailants. You save me from the violent man, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This morning's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Jose Benino Goetz on the 41st anniversary of his death. We also remember in our prayers John's aunt, Maria Teresa Penty, who died yesterday over in Canada. Our prayer intention today is for the sick, especially those that we know of and those suffering from COVID-19. So let's gather together all our intentions, all our prayers, and ask forgiveness also for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. <clears throat> King Nebuchadnezzar said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Ebenego, is it true that you do not serve my gods and that you refuse to worship the golden statue I have erected? When you hear the sound of horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, or any other instrument, are you prepared to prostrate yourselves and worship the statue I have made? If you refuse to worship it, you must be thrown straight away into the burning, fiery furnace. And where is the God who could save you from my power. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to King Nebuchadnezzar, Your question hardly requires an answer. If our God, the one we serve, is able to save us from the burning, fiery furnace and from your power, O King, he will save us. And even if he does not, then you must know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the statue you have erected. These words infuriated King Nebuchadnezzar. His expression was very different now as he looked at Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He gave orders for the furnace to be made seven times hotter than usual and commanded certain stalwarts from his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and throw them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sprang to his feet in amazement. He said to his advisers, Did we not have these three men thrown, bound, into the fire? They replied, Certainly, O king. But, he went on, I can see four men walking about three freely in the heart of the fire without coming to any harm. And the fourth, looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, 
He has sent his angel to rescue his servants, who, putting the order of the king, and preferred to forfeit their bodies rather than serve or worship any god but their own. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The response of Soriel's son, the response is, to you glory and praise forevermore. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers. To you glory and praise forevermore. Blessed your glorious holy name. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed on the throne of your kingdom. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed who gaze into the depths. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the firmament of heaven. To you glory and praise forevermore. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. To the Jews who believed in him, Jesus said, If you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples. You will learn the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered, We are descended from Abraham, and we have never been the slaves of anyone. What do you mean you will be made free? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, everyone who commits sin is a slave. Now the slave's place in the house is not assured, but the son's place is assured. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descended from Abraham, but in spite of that, you want to kill me, because nothing I say has penetrated into you. What I, for my part, speak of is what I have seen with my father, but you, you put into action the lessons learned from your father. They repeated, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do as Abraham did. As it is, you want to kill me when I tell you the truth as I have learnt it from God. That is not what Abraham did. What you are doing is what your father does. We were not born of prostitution, they went on. We have one father, God. Jesus answered, If God were your father, you would love me, since I have come here from God. Yes, I have come from him. Not that I came because I chose. No, I was sent, and by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which you have given to be offered to the honour of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exhortation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Through him and with him and in him 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all disgrace. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. When the God has brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart, and strengthen us with eternal protection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Hope Welcome you're all okay. You. And I was just thinking, actually, that today is ha almost halfway in this initial stage of lockdown. We're not quite sure what's going to happen uh, after Easter Sunday, but at least in this particular bit, we're, we're almost halfway through. So well done, everyone. Everyone's doing really well. And another big thank you to everybody. The NHS yesterday, our blood donors, they were full. They were delighted. So uh, I'm hoping they'll come again very soon. Once we get that date, we will let you know so you can go onto the websites and phones and get in first. Because I know lots of you were disappointed that you didn't get an appointment. So we'll try and make sure you get one next time. But um, thank you. Lots of people are asking us about Holy Week. Yes. Um, now we're not entirely sure uh, what's what and we're still awaiting some guidelines from the diocese about what we can do and what perhaps we, we shouldn't do at this time. Um, but obviously the first thing to concentrate on is Palm Sunday this coming weekend and we'll be doing our Mass as usual at 10.30 which will be live streaming and we'll be blessing the palms at that Mass. So from after the 10.30 Mass, uh, so from about 11.30 onwards, we will put a basket of palms um, outside the front door for you to come and collect if you are allowed to come out and if you happen to be passing the church. But we will make sure there are plenty of palms left over for um, when we return to normal so that you can collect them. So be rest assured there will be services here that we will be live streaming to you during Holy Week as if you were here, but they will be somewhat moderated. They so will be obviously changed. we're not going to be washing 12 feet on Monday, Thursday. Because I only have two feet and I'm the only other person here. So <laughs> we have not that many feet. And so I think possibly things like the, the fire before the Easter Vigil, I think for this year that's not necessary. But we'll, we'll see the guidelines and we'll let you know what we're doing and when you can watch them. But you will certainly be able to join us during using the usual mediums that you're using already at every stage of Holy Week. And another big part of Holy Week, of course, are the Stations of the Cross, a big part of Lent. And one thing that Angela and I are going to try and do in the next few days is record a Stations of the Cross um, in our church so that you can see our lovely stations um, and then we'll put that on the website so you can watch it. Um, well, as often as you want uh, as we get to Holy Week. So we're hoping to do that ready for Friday because Friday is the day when normally we have the two different stations of the cross. So if you normally join us in the morning or the evening, you'll be able to do that as usual. And on Good Friday, we will do a children's stations of the cross in a, in a similar way, just like we did last year for all the little people. So that's a watch this space. We're going to attempt to film one later today. So we're... Uh, We'll see how that goes. Or at some point. Depends how many, <laughs> how many uh, things happen between now and the afternoon. Yeah, exactly. But you wanted to say about the food bank as well. I did. You? Thank you ever so much for the people that have started dropping things off. You've been really, really generous. And we will certainly make good use of it. But the needs are growing now. Um, but it, for the rest of you, if you happen to be in a supermarket and you see a tin, you only need to get one each or even two each. That would be perfect. And whenever you're next safely passing the parish house, just leave them on the doorstep, ring the bell and, and, and step back and we come out and claim them and we can put them in the set of bags that we're lining up by the front door, ready for people to be to have dropped off to them. So yeah, those, those tinned meals are, are fabulous because people don't need to put other things with them. So they're, they're wonderful. Tinned fruit, tinned veg. Just get what you can while you're out and about. I realise the shops are, it's, it's difficult out there and the queues are quite something still. And I was thinking that if you are queuing up to go into a shop, it's very easy just to stand there and perhaps get a bit frustrated and uh, impatient, but you could actually use the time to say a few prayers. You could you know, say a decade of the rosary using your fingers. You could um, perhaps take a little book with you or just use it for a bit of silence and, and prayer. You know, we want to use all these moments that we have to the best effect. Now our prayer focus today is, is for the sick. So for all the sick, those with COVID-19, and any other conditions that are, that, that are out there. So we're praying for those people particularly. At noon today, don't forget to set your timers. I'll send out the reminder again to us all on the WhatsApp group. Remember, if you'd like to join the WhatsApp group, let me have your mobile number because I need to save it on my phone before I can add you. So do somehow send me your mobile number and you're most welcome to join. So I think that's about it, I think. Yep, yeah, tomorrow no mass in the morning, but obviously the WhatsApp group carries on. Um, but yet yeah, tomorrow is Thursday, so it's our 
It's our day closed, which seems it's a bit our day closed. So I think tomorrow, I think I might stay at home tomorrow. Don't know what, perhaps it was a good yeah. idea. Yeah. We could look at some photos of the South Coast and picture ourselves <laughs> there. That's what we might do. So. Brilliant. Well, look, that just leads me to say it's a goodbye from me. And it's a good night from him. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.